Let's get into more detail about the crash map, which is responsible for data distribution on the cluster. Whenever new data is sent to the cluster, it will be distributed across different failure domains, for example hosts. It's represented by a tree structure. Normally, you'd edit the crash map by 1. Downloading the current config from the mon, 2. Decompiling it, 3. Editing it as plain text, 4. Recompiling it, 5. And finally uploading it back to the mon. That's not very user friendly, that's why we decided to create an interface. This means we have a root bucket and in there we store our hosts. Inside of those we have our OSDs, that's the bare minimum. If you want a more complex structure, for example for rack redundancy, in case of power failure, we can easily realize that by selecting the root node, clicking create and using the mask to create free racks. Now all that's left to do is dragging one host into each rack. We can nest our crush map much deeper than that. We also have the option to undo and redo changes. None of the changes take effect without us opting into them. This is done by clicking the save button and approving of a change log. Please note, changes can take hours or even days depending on the amount of data which has to be redistributed across the cluster, so you have to be careful, but it is an incredibly powerful tool.